Welcome to Evan J. Thomas Presents Sounds, Stories, Stages The History of Iconic Music Venues Yeah, Miles, William, yep. Saul What are you, some of your favorite places you guys have played? On your, you know, either with Saul or on your own Is there any cool places that you guys can kind of uh, mention? The, uh, machine Shop up that, That's the first that's one that everybody. always <laughs> it's, it's, it, dude, I've been wanting Again, to play. Machine Shop is like number one and yeah, that's, not, that's number dude, one on my and list One of the coolest things about the Machine Shop too is uh, Their social media When Anytime we share Well, a lot of the times we share things Machine Shop will share it as well And it's like and their photographer dude, is fucking phenomenal. Their, Jeff is just amazing. Dude, so good. And, you know, you just see so many pictures in that iconic place. You know, there's been so I mean, many bands. I mean, what I like there. is that damn hallway with the fucking... That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. It's, like, so cool. I'm like, I just want to set that up in my house. Dude. Dude. Here's so much about this place. I haven't played I, it yet. I know, dude. It. I heard oh, damn it. No, this was the previous drummer. I did drummer. once, once, and it was just... Badass. It's iconic, man. It, of course, that's exactly why everybody says it first, mm -hmm. right? And, it, and it's weird because it's in Flint, Michigan. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. And dude. they have great there's, Philly cheesesteaks next door. Do they? Did you? you no, I did not there? see oh, that. No. All I remember is I'm driving up. There was a bunch of like d a, abandoned buildings. You had uh, three strip clubs. Uh, that's like kind of all I remember go. driving into this place. So it's, it's Flint for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, as I always say, don't drink the water when you get there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Make sure you do bottled water or something else. Yep. So obviously, that being your favorite, did you do you have a favorite venue you've ever played? One hundred percent, Newport Music Hall in Columbus, Ohio. Newport Music, okay. Never Newport been to Music that one. Hall. Um, so it's been a couple different things. It was a venue, and then at one time it was a church. And like, okay. So then, have you played Southgate? Revival Music Hall in Newport, Kentucky. <laughs> it's just uh, the, over the border of uh, Cincinnati, right over the river. Southgate. I think I have. I was there back in April, and you talk about it was an old renovated church. Yeah. I so think talk I have. about the the Newport. Cause that Newport sounds fucking awesome. So too. the only reason that place is like iconic for me is because I played there in my first band out of high school. So like my it was called personal per, per, uh, personal public at the time. A little bit of say that like again. Personal public. Personal public. Okay. We played at like a little basement that was next door to it. And I remember we're walking out after our first show together. I was like, Tony, which is our keyboard. I was like, one day we're gonna be playing over there. Switch up just to oh, hair so we don't lose you. Like, there yeah, you I go. Like, we I was like, one day we're gonna be playing over there. And like two years later, we got to headline it, and it was pretty cool. Like seeing our name on the marquee, but like so that was like kind of like iconic as far as just like a journey for me. Yeah, it's a personal like you know story yeah. for you. But so. also like it's just a beautiful venue. They've got like this like the big open dome that's like right in the middle of the venue like with a bunch of like painting on it dude so that sounds so much like the place i was telling you about so, okay yeah if you ever get a chance to play there fucking do it because yeah it sounds like a, thompson house almost uh, no nah, i don't think that's because it used to be something else uh there used to be another southgate hall mm -hmm. somewhere in cincinnati and then it moved there and then this and that so other than that, do you have any venues you'd like to play that you haven't played? Obviously, you haven't played Machine Shop. Yeah. So that's probably your number shop. one. <laughs> other than that, do you have a second one, or um, let's hear what William has to say as well? I'm stoked like to play. I'm stoked to play House of Blues when we do when we go down to California. Okay. So you want the LA one? Yeah, just a House of Blues. Period. Okay. Yeah, pretty it's crazy rare. for me. I see other people bigger sizes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wish I could go bigger. I'm about to tear on my left one. Oh no. So oh, I can go thanks. bigger right now. I just have I have it this size for over two years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Oh damn. So uh, I honestly can't think of any venues at the moment so uh, okay. no I can't so like uh, no metro in Chicago or uh, you know uh, I don't even know if I want to go to dude, Chicago freaking <laughs> I don't even like driving around Chicago ah, that's where I'm from uh, that's where I came up from it's will, so hard to drive around there I will say <laughs> one one period that would just be like freaking home run would be Red Rocks out in California dude Colorado. that place yeah. oh yeah I've Honestly. only walked through there I've never seen a show mm -hmm. there but even just okay I didn't really walk i kind of ran the stairs once and it was like 90 <laughs> degrees and i'm like i'm done i'm dying I did, I did once up and down and then kind of walked around and did the little tour and that place the most amazing backgrounds you can ever see i mean yeah. it's red rocks yeah. Yeah. look up red rocks if you don't know what the fuck oh, yeah. it is it's insanely cool when i i might have been like fifth grade something you're like not that. far from there or no nah, you uh, it's maybe like Lincoln, what, nebraska it's about seven oh, hours seven, seven hours seven roughly hours to hours denver back area mm -hmm. um but uh when i was like maybe fifth grade fourth grade something like that uh my brother bought incubus live at red rocks and ever since then i'm like i'm gonna play there and hopefully it happens someday yeah. soon <laughs> like it's tough though so it's, it's a big it's, it's a big venue it's and like the best of, it's like the best of the best get in there yeah, you know what i mean